Hi, my name is Anton and today I'll show you how to directly 3D print from Rhino using 3D Printer's Cloud plugin. So I've downloaded and installed 3D Printer's Cloud plugin. I can see buttons here and here I have the part I'm gonna 3D print. So I click the button print and the first thing it would ask me for my credentials. I put them here click login. Uh, now it's uh, showing me the default uh, tolerances to convert. I I'm good with that, so I click upload. When the file is uploaded, then uh, I can see the screen of uh, this Cloud API to print on a 3D printer. Uh, it would show uh, 3D printers connected to my account. I have one Ultimate Q2. If uh, I want to add more printers, you just click this button and uh, download and install Cloud Client to connect more printers to this machine, for example. So I'll go with this one. I select the printer. Um, so now I can see the object on the build tray. So I put it on the bed, I center it. Looks good. And I click Next. Um, the slicer settings, I will select my favorite ones. And I click Next. So now uh, the object will be uh, positioned in the build tray. Then uh, we'll apply a uh, magic fix. Uh, basically, it's an application which checks for water tightness and uh, correctness of the STL file. And finally, we'll slice the file in the cloud. What's happening right now. And when it's done, I just click the button print. Here we go. Um, now, the status of the printer is showed. Probably you can hear uh, the sound of the printer. So we're also showing the full logs, what's happening uh, on the printer. And right now it's heating up the, the build tray and the nozzle. It will take some time. I'll fast forward the process so you don't need to wait. Okay, now the 3D printer is heated up and it started to print. If I want to see like what's happening real time on the 3D printer, I can go to my cloud account and basically see the live view camera from the printer. And you can see it's printing now. And the status is updated here. So it's showing the time spent, time left and the real printing is here. I don't need this print, so I'll cancel it. This printing is cancelled now. And the printer is ready for uh, the next print. Another possible option is to upload the file directly to the cloud to do all the manipulations there, like preview the toolpath, uh, do some advanced uh, fixing of the object and so on. For these purposes I click the button upload. It's asking me for uh, the same tolerances. I'm good with this. Uh, so what, what else I can do is I can upload this file to one of the existing projects I have in the cloud. Uh, this time I'll just do the single file. So I click the upload and when the file is uploaded uh, I click go to cloud and the file is shown uh, in my files tab. Here it is. We do the instant uh, rendering of the object in the cloud and uh, I can apply quite many different apps to fix that if I need or if I want to preview it on, on the build tray. It's here. So position it, center. And it look, looks good. Then I save the file. And we keep all the versions uh, of any changes you do to the file. So here I moved it uh, to the center on the build tray and we have stored another version. So now uh, if I want to slice it, I just go to, uh, to the slicer. I select my favorite settings. And I click the button Slice and Toolpath Preview. So it will slice in the cloud, uh, produce the, uh, the toolpath. And when it's ready, 
it will show me uh, here on the build tray the exact toolpath uh, it's going to uh, to be printed. So here we go, and I can preview layer by layer, and you can see this different uh, different speeds the the object has. So depending on what exactly is needed to be built, or I can animate to. So now I can hit button print and basically select the printer to print on. I can preview that it's uh, empty. Actually, it's not empty, so I need to clean it first and then print. Thank you for your attention. That was a direct 3D print from Fina using 3D Printerize Cloud plugin. Thank you very much.